The 787 Dreamliner is a beautiful long-haul aircraft. American Airlines is an airline I love to hate. Let's see how these two thoughts combine on a flight from Dallas to Chicago in economy. As this was a fairly standard domestic route, I'll spend much of this review discussing the overall shortcomings and lack of vision of American Airlines. If you want to skip this discussion and the Centurion Lounge to jump straight to the flight, click on the timestamp link below. It's not unheard of for airlines to fly long-haul products on short domestic routes. Heck, I flew on a Thai 777-300ER on a flight less than an hour. Sometimes it's to ferry long-haul aircraft between hubs. In Americans' case, it's because they have more Dreamliners than they know what to do with. You can fly on a 787 from LA to San Francisco or to Dallas, or Chicago to Cancun. Meanwhile, American continues to fly old legacy US Airways fossils to actual long-haul destinations. After my arriving flight from Sydney, I had many hours to kill, so I headed to the American Express Centurion Lounge. These lounges have suffered from serious overcrowding in recent years. In part, it's due to the great offering compared with airline lounges. I'm guessing it also has a lot to do with certain credit card shields. Recently, they moved to a newer, larger space, and I was excited that finally the lounge would be big enough to accommodate the demand. It should come as no surprise that it wasn't. I arrived in the early afternoon, and fortunately the lounge wasn't too crowded. After surreptitiously snapping a photo, I checked in and signed up for a shower and a massage. The shower was spacious and great, and they also provided a shave and toothbrush kit, which hit the spot after 15 hours in the back of economy. The complimentary head and neck massage was great as well, though I'm glad I arrived when I did, as they soon became fully booked. Seating became incredibly sparse as time went on, the line at the bar for a drink long as well, and the modest buffet inadequate for so many diners. At the front, they began to institute capacity controls. I was part of the problem as I was there for four hours. Since my visit, Amex now refuses entry to anyone on arrival, which is another significant cutback. It really is a shame, especially with the increased fee of the Platinum card. But honestly, I'm not sure there's an easy solution to this. I took the train over to the gate area, and soon we were boarding. The 7878 is outfitted with wacky rear-facing Zodiac Concept D business class seats, which were abandoned for good reason. The economy cabin is laid out in a 3-3-3 configuration, with large overhead bins and beautiful dimming windows. Legroom is 31 inches, which sadly is considered good in the new American fleet. The seats are firm, but not completely uncomfortable. There's a very diverse seat back entertainment, USB, and even a full AC power at every seat. In a way, the aircraft is a time capsule of American when they were going for great and trying to improve the cabin experience. Because great is what we're going for. But American has since pivoted, changing their tagline and removing in-flight entertainment. The screens aren't great by any means, being sluggish and unable to pivot, which makes viewing when the person in front of you reclines difficult. But I personally find it better to watch a movie in front of me than on a phone or tablet. To go with the seatback entertainment, we were given Avis branded headphones because... reasons? In typical American Airlines fashion, they started the safety video twice. It's also accurate regarding the friendliness of typical American cabin crew. As the flight was entirely in the dark, it was pretty uneventful. We went up to 37,000 feet with 1 hour and 45 minutes of flying time. and service included a soft drink and a Biscoff cookie. So yeah, that's American Airlines. Perfectly fine. But I just can't get over the lack of vision or direction of the airline. Lack of vision. The products are so inconsistent, and they can't decide if they want to be a superior airline or one that just competes with Spirit and Frontier on price. This 7878 on a domestic route, configured with full entertainment and large full galleys and bodies this. Shortly it won't matter though as we'll all be squeezed into 30 inches on the 737 MAX with tiny lavatories, inferior first class seats, and not even an oven to warm up food. Thanks for watching. 
If you like this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.